I beg you. You're Aloy, aren't you? Everyone's talking about your victory at Devil's Grief. I, I feel blessed to stand in your presence. There's no need to fuss over me. Who are you praying for? My, my sister, Nicola. She went north to find a Karja officer called Zaid, one of the captains of the Red Raids. I'm worried about her. Did the Matriarchs really give Nikoa permission to leave? No. They refused her. But nothing could stop her from going after Zaid. He... He murdered our father during the Red Raids. Nikoa saw it happen. Hidden in the cellar and forced herself to watch. It changed her. I lived in the Embrace during the Red Raids. What was it like out here? <laughs> For ten years, the Karja attacked without warning. Devils like Zaid butchered braves and kidnapped civilians for blood sacrifice. It all ended when the mad Sun King died. The matriarchs say his son wants to set things right. But that wasn't enough for Nicola. You could have gone with her. Leave the sacred land and be purged from all Mother's eternal memory? No. I begged Nikoa to stay so she could avoid that fate. She said she didn't care. I don't know. Will she really be cursed for avenging our father? It seems... cruel. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, Mother, bless you. I know the Matriarchs won't let her return to the Sacred Lands, but I just need to know that she's all right. She must have passed through Mother's Crown. My Aunt Salai lives there. They might have spoken. Maybe she can tell you more. All Mother. I kneel before you, low and humble. Pleading for strength and understanding. Start. Another signal.
gonna need this. around like that. Uh, can't she? This must be Mother's crowd. So why she be around here somewhere? Are you, Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nikoa. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Day Tower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. Is there anything you can tell me about Day Tower? It's a Karja fort, right at the border. Bastards used to gather Nora captives there, so they could ship them to Meridian for slaughter. I told Nikoa not to go. What's alone Nora gonna do there? But she wouldn't listen. All she can think about is finding Zaid. What do you know of Zaid? He's a rabid animal, a murderer. The worst of the Red Raiders. Killed my brother while poor Nikoa watched from the shadows. Even as I begged her not to go, part of me wanted her too. I need him dead as much as she does. You can't imagine what it's like. He... He mutilated my brother. And yet he walks free among the Karja. I understand. Better than you think. I'll look for Nakoa when I reach Day Tower. She can't come back. The Matriarchs won't allow it. But I'd be so grateful if you could find her and help her if she needs it. And please, keep this between us. I will. I promise.
we go again. Save these for the trail.
I've been waiting for the storm to hit.
That's a machine I can't override. Not until I've learned more. Just stay out of their way for now. Rost always said, patience. Let's get this over with. Black smoke, red tatters. More bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst.
stocking up. Whoever's in charge here might know if Nakoa came through. This is nothing but trouble. That's all there is in but new plans. This fire has to be a trick. The car didn't shut Would you like to buy something today? Captain Blon, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. Prefect Zayi can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. Wait. Saeed is here? He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. If there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it, and the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Well, now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora, and they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly, but he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the Sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. Machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We stretched in to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. 
During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karger at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... All your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Havad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sun Ring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Asuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azuram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azuram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them, scaled the North Cliff with my men, and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azuram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun, and what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Watch out for the Asaram merchants. They'll as soon cheat you as look at you. You're a Zaid. And you're a Nora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. The last Nora who came through here. You mean Nikoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Where is Nikoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. They have me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Ad has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. K. 
can't trust him. Not after machines. what Yon told me. Shaman's damn we'll find better wares. my only lead. Sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. First moment after the rain. I'll find a use for you. and quiet does it.
team saw me. Lucky me.
And one of these.
This must be lonesome, Mark. If it's a trap, I might need to go in quiet. Hmm. Seems like an ordinary outpost. I'd better look around. I'm so bored. I'm bored with being bored. Hold, Outlander! What are you doing here? Prefect Zaid told me that bandits abducted a girl near here. Do you know where they might have taken her? Zaid told you that, did he? Hmm. No bandits around here, girl. But I think I can help you find your friend. The boss sent us a fresh one, boys. Wrap her up and tie her down. Get over here! She's coming! This could be it! Archibald! No! Let this strike up on the Forsaken. I'm down! All right, let's see what Zayed's hiding out here. There are chains in the cart. Not just chains, manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. Tough, but I'm used to it. The tracks lead to the compound. Maybe Nikoa's inside. Ideas. Zaid says hands off or let her fight it off. Sounds like Nikoa's here. And I'm gonna have to cut through these guards to get to her. You hear that?
We're under attack. Here. I'm looking right Here at it. Here we go. Prisoners. Chained up to be sold as slaves. Please, help us get out of here. Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. Nokoa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men. You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. 
The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. How did Zaid capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me, then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And after? Said he was going to sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time and kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. You've been through a lot. I'm fine. Are you sure? Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen. And I did. What are you going to do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more run down they got, the harder it was for Zaid to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. You're not even going to try to go back? What about Jan? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Time for me to go. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. If you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then, thank you for helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know. Maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. Mm -hmm.